uh, uh, my friends gather around because today we're going to soar to the celestial realms of the rarest birds in the spiritual skies. The perfect Zadikim, as described in today's Tanya portion for the 17th of TVs. You see, in the mystical tapestry of Kabbalah, Zadikim, the righteous ones, come in different shades, but the ones we're talking about they're the creme de la creme of purity, the ones who have transcended the very concept of evil. Um, imagine that, now why are these uh, disedikim, these spiritual giants known as men of great heights? Well, it's because their service to the divine isn't just unique. It's like they have their own direct line to God. Their every breath is a symphony of godliness. Their every action, a dance of divine devotion. It's as if they've got this internal compass that always points them towards the light and they follow it with a heart full of joy. And here's where the plot thickens. Just when you thought these uh, Zaykim couldn't get any more fascinating. You see, much like the parched earth yearns for rain, our souls thirst for Torah. But not just any Torah, the Torah that's infused with the essence of the infinite. That's where these uh, Deacon come in. They're not just scholars. They're vessels, conduits that channel the deepest secrets of Torah that quench our spiritual thirst. So next time you're feeling that inner thirst, that longing for something beyond the physical, remember the lesson of today's Tanya. Seek out the Torah that resonates with the vibration of godliness. Because, my friends, that's where you'll find the waters that can satiate the soul. <laughs> and who knows? Perhaps in our pursuit of this divine wisdom, we too can catch a glimpse of what it means to be a perfect Zadik, even if just for a fleeting moment. Until next time, keep your spirits high and your souls thirsty for the wisdom of the ages.